Hi, good afternoon. My name is Rainu Engelhart. I am the town councilor for the town of East Greenwich. I'm also a neighbor of this project on Division Road. I'd like to thank DEM for holding this meeting, and I'd like to also acknowledge that there's so many people who uh, wish to attend but aren't able to due to the uh, limits on uh, the size. Um, I also uh, am asking that DEM keeps note of who is speaking and where they live, whether they're in state or out state. Um, and I would like to register my uh, comment I in opposition to the permit for med recycler. For the record, to correct some misconceptions, this is only the second formal hearing that has taken place regarding med recycler. The meeting on May 6, 2019 at the West Warwick Planning Board, um, the January meeting for DEM was informational only, so this will only be the second one. The building in West Warwick, but every the building is in West Warwick, excuse me, but everything else about this building affects other towns. The access points to this project are off exit 7, off of Route 95, which is Coventry, West Greenwich, or exit 8, off of uh, Route 95, which is Warwick, or exit 6, which is off Route 4, which is East Greenwich. These access, access points were at the last comprehensive red dot study considered to meet among the highest accident rates in Rhode Island, uh, excuse me, due to their congestion. While these are state roads, the state does not respond in case of an accident or other emergency. Local agencies respond, such as the West Warwick Police and Fire Department, the East Greenwich Police and Fire Department, and the Warwick Fire and, uh, Police and Fire Department, and so on. I would like to point out that even the driveway of this property is in East Greenwich. The only way to access this property is to pass by East Greenwich residences or commercial areas or West Greenwich residences or commercial areas. And residences are across the road from this property, not hundreds of feet away. From the access point of this driveway going west on Division, the residences in East Greenwich are served by well water. The building that Med Recycler is leasing literally sits on a pond and wetlands served by Frybrook, something that is not noted in any of the corresponding documents from Med Recycler or DEM. At 70 tons of medical waste per day, that is far more waste in this area that has ever been seen before and could affect the only drinking water for several towns. Um, at this time, I can find no other mixed waste medical paralysis plants anywhere in the United States. During the January meeting, Mr. Dennett admitted they were new to the technology. They did not have enough information regarding it. He also admitted as far as compliance go with state and local regulations, DEM was going to allow better recycler to self-police at a certain point due to lack of personnel. Yet, even on the, lo uh, the letter of notice of intent to approve, DEM has many questions that still need to be answered by this company. And so far, we have not been able to find out if they've been answered. The comparison plants cited in the application process, such as Monarch Waste, which was closed by the EPA, or an unnamed plant in Southern California, none of which a match could truly be found, or even their international comps, several of which are still being built, do not lend an air of credibility. Mixed waste in regards to pyrolysis is not something that appears to be fiscally or financially viable at this time. Something that both the EPA noted on uh, February 17th of 2021 during their pit findings of PFAS destruction or and the Department of Energy titled Waste to Energy from MS. Uh, pointing out this building and area in West Warwick has been zoned commercial for some time, and the town of East Greenwich, to my knowledge, has never objected. This will be the first time and should show the seriousness of which we take this project. <clears throat> Looking at the amount of participants who are present and also those who still cannot attend and are waiting to uh, be admitted, it appears the residents are taking this very uh, seriously. I urge DEM to deny this permit. Thank you.